brand new. It should come right off. What are you doing to my Bronco? <laughs> Wear glasses. What's up, Light Bright Nation? What's up, Light Bright Nation? <laughs> Before Chris and Beck decide to leave for two weeks for Christmas, because, like, ugh. Slave driver. Like, I thought we were family here, guys. I thought you'd hang out. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, what am I having us do tonight before you leave tomorrow? We're gonna make the Bronco make noises. Yeah, choo-choo noises or? Choo-choo noises, some vroom vroom noises, but hopefully not loud noise. <laughs> no, I think it sounds, it'll sound pretty good. So, the Bronco, this is a 2.7 twin turbo. It doesn't make a noise. I would do a before video, but there's no point, because on the outside, it just sounds like a car going by. Inside the vehicle, it almost sounds like they're plumbing noise through the speakers. I don't know if that's true. It actually has pretty good induction noises, and it sounds sort of like a small V8, like a 4.3 like or something. It's got a vroom, vroom, and I'm like, that's not what a 2.7 sounds like. It doesn't sound bad, but it does, it just sounds like intake noises, but it's twin turboed and there's no turbo noises. There's no, well, That's yeah. really muffled. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening today. So what we did do is, um, you guys saw me stop off at Magnaflow. Well, look at that. Look what we got here. Let's go over this real quick. Real quick, guys, while the boys finish knocking out this Bronco install, I wanted to remind you, King of the Hammers is practically here, like it's right around the corner. So don't forget to come out, have fun, say hi. Our meet and greet schedule is actually posted on the Light Bright Nation Facebook page and Instagram. We also listed it in the video a little bit ago with my buggy. Check it out, come say hi, get autographs, get photos. And of course, if you can't make it there in person to support us, definitely support us on the live stream. You can watch the entire race. It's the 4400 series race on February 5th. Kevin and I will be in the Bilstein Bomber. And of course you can support us in the live chat. Just remember to support us, but also be respectful of other people on the chat who might not be Light Bright fans. We do want to let them have conversations about the race and everything. Let's try to give room for everyone. Uh, we kind of spammed the chat a little bit last year. This year, show the love, show the support, but also try to be a little respectful so we don't get crap at the racetrack for it like we did last year. But guys, either way, we love the support. It was amazing, and we hope to see a lot of you guys out on the lake bed. Now back to the boys. So what we have here, guys, is a Magnaflow Overland series. They do make a street series that's a bit different. This Overland series is supposed to give you a little bit more tucked up muffler, and then this guy right here is cut off at the end. Now, what's super cool, neat, important about this is you can tune the aggressiveness of your exhaust. In this configuration with this J-pipe here and this, what they call NDT, this can, this is going to be the quietest or the least aggressive and least drone setup possible. Now, Chris, if you go ahead and take that cap off and add that cap, so that slips off and you can change this anytime you want, you slip that on. Now that is going to be your next uh, loudest level. And then you can go one further and take off the J-pipe and add just the cap. Now that is going to be even louder. Now I don't know what would happen is if you just left that open. <laughs> I don't know that one doesn't fix. That's like a three and a two and a half. So I don't know what would happen if you just left that open. I would assume even louder. You could also do that. That is another. So you can tune it any which way you want and go drive it and find out which noise level you like. Because I would venture to say that Chris's ears aren't the same as my ears and my ears are not the same as your ears. So the goal here is Magnaflow knows that not everybody has the same ears and the same preferences. So what they did is they made it so you can make it any way you want. And I talked to Magnaflow and they said this shouldn't take us any more than 20 or 30 minutes to install. And one more quick thing to note, it is all slip fit. This all is held together by these clamps right here. And according to this, all you need is a hanger tool or pry bar and a 15 millimeter to install all of this. And it should take no longer than, he said 15, I'm giving you 30, but you know. Ooh, so guys, hold on. So we did just get done rock crawling it today. You can see we kissed it a few places, not bad at all. So this one we were mobbing through the dunes, probably 40, 50 miles an hour, and we hit a rut and there were some rocks at the bottom of the rut and it caved this in. It did pretty dang good. I mean, poof, it hurt, it, it hurt bad, but nothing's damaged, nothing's touching, nothing's hurt. So this did its job. It's all pretty good. I don't know that I like this being open. It seems like this should have metal 
cover on it. Don't know why. Everything else did really good. So these guys, as you come over and you come off the tire, if you look, the next thing you hit is these things that hang way below this cross member and below your frame. And I got caught on these. Um, if you watch the other video, I got high centered right here. Look, you can see where it hit here and it, I literally got high centered and they had to shove me, get me off of this. If these weren't here, I would have slid right over it. So my goal is gonna be to cut these guys off and bolt in uh, an aluminum skid plate or something with UHMW there. So when I come down, if I hit it, I'll slide right off of it. And then we're gonna change all this to aluminum. This guy's flimsy. Pull on that, can you see it? That is not, that's just you pulling on it. Imagine the weight. Oh my God, you're hitting that T-case. That is not cool. Here, let's both pull on it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah, so that's not okay. The, the gas tank skid did pretty good. It's double paneled, so that's okay. And then the worst thing about this whole suspension are these guys right here. This is something that Jeep is not in the way at all, but look at this. We smash these every single time. And what we found out is if I kiss this guy up here, like if I scraped here, I was gonna smash those rear arms for sure. Like, so if I heard a scrape here, as the rock got passed into my middle, the middle of my rear door, I would gun it because I knew I was gonna hit this guy and then I would get up over it. So I don't know what we're gonna do about this, but this kind of sucks. And I, there's not really an easy way because the gas tank is on this side and there's not much we can do. I don't know, Chris will figure something out. What we do need is if before you want to go, this needs a skid plate. A reservoir? That's a reservoir. That needs a skid. Do we have any metal where we can uh, just kind of like weld a, a shield and a skid to this or bolt it through or something? Because that's going to be the first thing I smell. Like I'm going to slide off a rock. You know where that rock's going to go? Wham! Like literally right into my freaking resi. What do you think? It just needs a little lip. It needs a yeah. lip. Anyway, let's let's see what this exhaust sounds like. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> oh look, a penny. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and start with a remove, <laughs> removing the stock. You're going the wrong way. Battery died. Oh. Well, anyway, it's a 15. These look like tens. Because what it's saying is you don't have to pull that out. You should be able to just pry bar that out. Yeah, you don't have to pull that one out. We'll just pry it out once you loosen these. And uh, one thing they did, which is super cool in the OEM one, is they actually disconnect the muffler right here so you can pull the whole thing down easily. So that's kind of nice. Let's get the pry bar and uh, some penetrating oil. So we're using WD-40, I guess WD-40 works. I use PB Blaster, but the rubber grommets up here, you just kind of spray them with WD, PB Blaster does a lot better. And then a pry bar to, uh, to kind of slide them off. It just gives you, yeah, see how easy that comes off? And we're gonna reuse all of the stock hangers. Almost, kind of, sort of. I just don't want to drop in my hands. Oh, well I can put down the camera and help you. <laughs> Actually, I just want to film it coming out on your head. Just kidding, here, I'll hold this side. Yeah. Almost there. Yep. Here, I'll hold this side. Yeah, so you use WD-40. PB Blaster's much better. We come off? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. yeah. Sam Hallow is salty. Wear glasses. Brand new. It should come right off. What are you doing to my Bronco? You gonna take her to dinner first, or, uh, or what's going on there, bud? Big muffler. Huge. Huge. It's huge. They do give you a big tube. Awesome. That's pretty hilarious. All right, so that's that part down. Go ahead and pry that guy off. Wow, that's easy peasy. And then uh, pry this guy off. Look at that. That was maybe five minutes. It's longer on video, but like. It's shorter on video. Is it shorter? We're we gonna cut it down. <laughs> All right, now I think this part's pretty self-explanatory. It kind of just goes together. <laughs> All right, so you start with your front pipe here that attaches to your catalytic converter. Now you don't want to tighten anything down yet, I don't think, you just kind of put stuff on. You don't tighten it down, same thing. You gotta put all these clamps on. You'll secure everything at the end. You never tighten it down up front. Oh, there's a clamp needs to go right there. Now you also want to make sure that you put the clamp somewhere that's not gonna hit anything and or get hit by a rock. So you wanna want to kind of stick that guy up there so you can hit it real easy with a gun or something, but not so you're gonna hit it with a rock. So you're gonna hang that one. So this is easy so far. Easy for me anyway. Hit your clamp. Where's your clamp? See, I'm here for a reason. Okay, he was, when he said 15 minutes, he kind of wasn't joking, huh? No. That's pretty ridiculous. I don't know if it needed to kick that high. 
You see how high up they went there? I mean, maybe, I guess when the, when the suspension flexes, maybe I'm, okay, I'm wrong. Cause that does need to be out of the way of that control arm. Have you met Kevin? Yeah, that's true. Now the muffler is gonna be, here you go, so you know what you're getting. Model number, all that kind of stuff. It's really neat that they do that. And we showed you how they make these here in the USA. Unlike a lot of the other big exhaust companies, <clears throat> I'm not gonna name names, but uh, all their stuff comes from overseas and you can't get it same day halfway across the country. Honestly, after going and taking the factory tour, they're actually pretty proud of themselves that they keep everything here in the USA, in California, not overseas. They like being in California. It is where like the birthplace of everything performance started out in the West Coast. And California, whether you like the state or not, or you like the politics or not, it doesn't matter. It's where it was born and they love being there and they love being a part of the entire on-road, off-road track the whole industry, they are proud that they make everything here in the USA and all their employees are here and not sent overseas where everybody's having the backup of issues right now not being able to get product out. They have no issues with that because, well, they're made here. So that was pretty quick. That's actually pretty dang good. So that comes out right there. Now that's actually pretty protected. It doesn't hang nearly as low as that big muffler. We should have held that baby up next to it. So we're gonna start with the most tame noise possible and go with the full J-pipe and the full NDT resonator. He's, he's figuring it out, he's got it. All right, right, we'll start typing stuff up. So now everything's hung. We can rotate this up and tighten one of these up and then kind of go from there. Pretty simple. Oh, he's gonna start up there, I guess, yeah. Those two just go where they go. Is there no gasket between those or is there? Oh, it's still on there. Okay. There's still a gap. There it is. I think that's good. Clarence, Clarence. There we go. This is it, guys. Pretty dang simple. So what we'll do is we'll get this on like this. We'll test it out with the noise the way this is. And then we'll do the cap, which I don't know how much of a difference it'll, I think that'll be more interior noise. And then we'll go with the cap just on the muffler itself at the very end right there with no J-pipe. But I don't know how much you'll be able to hear from the outside if you'll be able to hear a big difference or not, but definitely you will on the inside. Right there. Look at that. Can't even tell there's an exhaust on there, which is kind of sad. Look how good that it's is. It's kind of awesome. It really is awesome. Uh, so you don't want it up higher because you don't want it reverberating inside. You want, definitely want it to shoot down and out. And the higher you do that, when you're on like a dusty road, if it's pointing down, it kicks all the dust up. So you want it pointing as far back as possible. That probably saved some weight too, didn't it? How big's that muffler? Hold that muffler up there. Get up next to that little, we should have done that beforehand. <laughs> that's gonna be, hold on, that's gonna be the, the picture for the, yeah. Well, shit, bud, we're done. Start her up? It's pretty quick, pretty easy. All right, All let's right. start her up. Oh, now it's got a little rumble. Very, very subtle. Very subtle, but oh. it's something. Like it's not annoying, there's no rasp, there's no nothing. Yeah, it's got a little burble. So what we're gonna do real quick is take off the J-pipe with the uh, NDT and put on just the cap on the end of the muffler. Or let's just leave the muffler open and see what it sounds like. And then we'll stick the cap on while it's running or we'll shut it off real quick. Cause you're gonna unbolt it anyway. So unbolt uh, the J-pipe from the muffler. And then we're gonna add just this cap to the end of the muffler, not the end of the J-pipe. We're gonna put that on the muffler. But undo the J-pipe first, please, sir. Okay. Yep, she fits. So let her, that, that's out. All right, let me, here. All right, I, I, got, I got it. You got it? Okay. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. I don't know what that sounds like on here. Maybe I should take the microphone off because it amplifies everything. I think without the microphone, we get a more true sound, but I don't know yet. Let, I guess we'll find out. I mean, it's pretty rumbly. Yeah, it is pretty rumbly. Let's see what happens when you just do this. You get the play I think that'll be okay. I think we leave it like that. Oh, like that? So not the J-Pipe? Not the J-Pipe. Oh, let's, go down, let's go drive down the street. All right. All right. You need to put your seat down, Put your seat on, Chris. Please hold. I can't take you anywhere. Trying to, trying to be safe. Okay, seatbelt's on. That's 
not too loud, so that's just the cap, no. right? Yeah, that's just the cap. It's got a little rumble, you can hear the rumble, which sounds nice. That sounds pretty dang good. This is with the the loudest other than opening up the whole thing. The J pipe <laughs> with the NDT would be that's really for the people that want it quiet, quiet. Quiet, quiet. I think this is good. It's a good noise. I think so. It's not obnoxious. Not like the Jeep. Sounds pretty good. I think so. I think that's a win. I, I mean, I'm gonna leave it like this, but the good thing is it's literally 115 millimeter clamp. Put yep. the J-pipe on. Brum, brum. It, it will never be loud because it has turbo. Turbos are much quieter, even without the cats. You can run no mufflers, no cats, no nothing, and all you get is pure turbo noise, and you don't get a lot of grumbly, loud obnoxiousness. It sounds pretty good. It's, like, it's way down on power, so you lose like 100 horsepower and like 100 foot-pounds of torque if you put cheap fuel in, and it's a massive difference. So the speed is 55, so let's slow down here, and I'm gonna speed up, ready? Set. That's not bad at all. I'm gonna and that's like through that. a soft, soft top. That's through a soft top. So that's not bad at all. Sounds great. It's, it's nothing at idle. Like nothing. All right. Well, it's nothing because it shuts <laughs> off. <laughs> it's a win. Leaving it like this. Let's go mm -hmm. home and eat. <laughs> oh, is it dinner time? This video is being shot over several days. It is Christmas morning and I just pulled the little cap off the muffler. I still have the regular pipe that, that shoots it out, but I pulled the cap off where that you can put the J pipe on and stuff. So this is what that sounds like. So this is kind of like basically a straight through exhaust. That's basically the loudest configuration with the mufflers. That's no J pipe, no cap, no DNT, no nothing. That's the exhaust piping all the way back to the muffler. But that second opening is completely open now. Honestly, cruising, I'm 55 going up a hill, so there's a little bit of a load where it, it sounds fine. And when you get on it, there's all the way to 80. That was 50 to 80. And then you let off. And there you go, so you have that little rumble. Honestly, it's not too loud. I thought it was gonna be uh, way too loud. I thought it was gonna be loud and annoying, but it's not, so there's that. I guess because you still have some muffler. It's gonna pick the path of least resistance, which I would assume is straight through that other back hole, but it's fine. I don't know how bad it is outside. I guess I could probably set the camera up real quick and, and do a little drive-by, because uh, everybody's inside the house right now. pretty good I think it sounds really good and then if you want it completely quiet you can put it back on with the J pipe and the DNT so there you are that is what that sounds like at full throttle full throttle flyby part throttle uh, drive-by and then an acceleration from a stop I think it sounds pretty dang good actually so you can go from that's as loud as possible all the way to not really silently like it sounds really good so the J pipe with the DNT uh, resonator is just a nice deep smooth tone that you'll just get a little bit of noise and a little bit of feel in the cabin and it'll be pretty quiet outside it's the very non-suspecting so there you have it guys that is the magnaflow overland series they do have a street series also i believe that doesn't protect the muffler quite as well this one the muffler tucks up like you saw and the tip barely pokes down and the street series has the pipes that come out the back and it looks more aggressive and street oriented you don't want to run the street one if you plan on rock crawling and you can come down because you will crush the tips on a rock and stuff if you don't normal dirt roads and desert duning and all that kind of stuff no problem you can definitely run with the street series it's definitely no hemi although the hemi does have a magnaflow exhaust on it as well which sounds fantastic thank you magnaflow for coming up with all these great systems that sound absolutely amazing and i love this new series that allows you to tune it 
from mild to wild and get the noise that everybody wants to hear or doesn't want to hear. It's really up to the end user. We also have a new system for the Supra that also allows this same exact technology. I'm running the Supra all straight open. The Supra sounds absolutely amazing. That inline six with the turbo on that thing just sounds mean as can be. And I will definitely be doing an install on that and sound clips because the Supra sounds so good. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember, you can find all of your Light Bright Nation merch and decals at lightbrightstudios.com. We love you guys, and we will see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Inside the vehicle, excuse me, inside the... Got the hiccups now. And then we'll go with the cap. <laughs>